welcome back to my channel. Today's foodie adventure was a super fun recipe. Today I followed a recipe out of one of my favorite cookbooks. Even I run out of creative ideas and it's sometimes nice to just rely on someone else's good idea, someone else's good recipe. So that's what I did. We made Korean barbecue tofu wraps. I am a wrap girl. I love a good wrap. You, you get so many different flavors all rolled up in a nice little tortilla. They're just super fun to make and then even more fun to eat. So that's what we did today and we even made a quick pickled radish to go on top. All right, enough jibber jabbering. Let's get to tasting. So I just, I'm just using um, regular flour tortillas. Got one ready to go. This is what our beautiful tofu looks like. So I'm just going to put, I'm just gonna put two planks on our wrap. The sauce, guys, it's finger licking good. So we've got our two planks on there and I'm going to do a little bit of our pickled radish. You can definitely do like fresh cilantro or even some Napa cabbage shaved on there. I'm just going with a simple wrap. So you've got your radish and your tofu and we kept our delicious sauce. So I'm going to take a spoon and drizzle some of that on. Yes, guys, that sauce is amazing. I am definitely adding this sauce to my arsenal. Okay, guys, let's try this delicious wrap. I'm so excited. Mm. Whoa. <laughs> that, mm. that's the atomic bomb of flavor right in your mouth. Guys, you get that crispy little crunch from that tofu. And then immediately that sweet and spicy and sticky sauce. It's all balancing and singing in your mouth. And then you get a pop of acid from those radishes. This is such a perfectly balanced bite. Oh, I cannot describe to you how delicious all of this is working together. How well all of this is working together to make a delicious wrap and such a fun, fun recipe. And this sauce, this sauce is one you're going to keep and use over and over again. But don't take my word for it. Keep on watching, guys. See this unfold, make it at home, and see what I mean. Bye, guys. Okay, guys, it's time to start our Korean barbecue tofu wraps. Today, I'm just following a recipe out of one of my favorite cookbooks. It is a thick boy. Um, I have lots of pages marked, lots of recipes marked. I'm just a, I'm just an at-home cook, so my creativity does have a limit. So sometimes it's nice to just crack open a cookbook and follow an already planned out delicious recipe. There's nothing wrong with that. So I have our page here. Little grumpy cat was keeping it company. This is what it looks like inside here. We've got the recipe there, Korean barbecue tempa wraps. They use tempa. Um, I've never cooked with, nor have I ever had tempa. I'm a tofu girl. I really do enjoy the consistency that you can get out of tofu and the way that it absorbs flavor. Tempa is on my bucket list of things to try, so we will get there. But today we are using tofu. Other than that, I am following their recipe almost to the letter. There is, I think, one or two extra spices that I add. So, let's get going. Behind me, I've got my prep station. So it looks like the first step of the recipe is to mix our sauce ingredients into a bowl. So I've got my bowl, my whisk, and we're gonna put the ingredients in and whisk them up. The first ingredient is 3 fourths cup of sugar. I'm just using granulated sugar, three-fourths cup. I'm measuring. The second ingredient is soy sauce, six tablespoons of soy sauce. I'm measuring again. Next, it calls for six tablespoons of water, which I have measured out in this. So the next one, I can't measure to their exact measurements because they want five cloves of garlic, and I use the jar minced garlic. 
I'm going to um, start with three tablespoons. I think that's pretty equivalent to five cloves. I'm gonna take a look at it and see. It looks like two tablespoons is just enough. Next, it calls for one and a half tablespoons of rice vinegar. Next, you need two tablespoons of sriracha sauce. Next, it calls for one and a half teaspoons of cornstarch. Okay, so now it's time to just whisk all of that up. You guys, that is one fragrant sauce. Woo! It's a good, it's a good woo. It, it really is. It smells so good. Also, confession time. I've never had Korean barbecue anything. When I ate meat, I didn't have Korean style barbecue. I haven't had a Korean style flavored vegetarian dish since I went vegetarian. So this is really outside of my comfort zone and really new but that's what cooking is good for it's getting you out of your comfort zone it's it's the opportunity for you to try something new all the time this is what your sauce should look like we have it mixed up pretty good and we're going to just set it aside and move on to the next step Okay guys, before we can move on to the next recipe step, we need to prep our tofu. Now this recipe does originally call for tempeh and we're using tofu. And from everything that I have read or learned about tempeh, it has a meatier texture. So to mimic that tempeh meaty texture, what I did to my tofu is the press and freeze method. So I, I pressed it for an hour and then I froze it overnight and I um, microwaved it for 10 minutes and then pressed it for another hour and this is what you get. You get a real condensed thick block of tofu that has a real meaty texture to it. I think it's going to mimic the tempa just right. So now we just need to cut the tofu into the shape or cut that we want. The recipe calls for thin planks so we're going to stick to that. I'll show you how we're going to do that. Okay, so take your tofu and then just get the thickness that you want. I'm gonna do pretty thin strips and it's as simple as that. You get a nice thick plank that's gonna be really meaty for our wraps. Okay guys, it's time to go on to our next step which is frying up our tofu strips. I have four tablespoons of canola oil and a splash of sesame oil in the skillet and you wanna just Fry it till they're golden brown on each side, so two to four minutes on each side. The sizzle, guys, the sizzle. Oh, you're gonna pop them on a paper towel lined plate. So I'm gonna go ahead and fry these two to four minutes on each side, and then we'll come back together and see how they turned out. Okay guys, it's time to move on to our next step, which is actually cooking the sauce because we are done with our tofu. Isn't it pretty? It's nice and golden brown. So we're gonna set that aside and get started on our sauce. So we're gonna take the sauce that we mixed up earlier, put it into the same skillet we were using for our tofu. We're just, we've just turned it down to a low heat and we are going to simmer it for five minutes. Now that our sauce is in the skillet, you want to bring it to a rapid simmer, drop the heat, and let it simmer for five full minutes. We're really looking for it to thicken up. The size of your sauce should actually shrink down to about a cup. So we'll let it simmer for five minutes, we'll come back and we'll check out our consistency. Okay guys, while our sauce is simmering away, we're going to go ahead and make a fun little garnish for our wraps. The recipe actually calls for them. It calls for thinly sliced radishes and to get our radishes nice and thin we're going to be using some heavy duty kitchen equipment. We're going to be using the V-slicer. Now in my ratatouille video I had a red one that I got off Amazon. <sighs> it worked once and then just quit and I yeah it wasn't the best quality but it's what I could afford. Uh, but because I do use a V-slicer a lot, um, I decided to invest in myself and invest in a better V-slicer. So I got this little baby. Pretty excited about it. Let's get you down here where you can see what we're doing here. So mine has uh, the height, so like the width of your cut controls here on the side. And we want them really thin, so we're going to put them to the smallest size. 
the radishes have already been washed, so you're going to take it and you're just going to slide it right down. And you should get yourself a really nice and paper thin slice that's going to make a delicious little garnish. I The recipe calls for just plain radish slices, but I kind of want to be a little extra and try a pickle. I've never pickled anything in my life, but I kind of want to do it. And by the time I have them sliced up, I think I'll have my mind made up on whether we're going to try a pickle. Okay guys, I've made up my mind. We are going to pickle our radishes. I think that's going to be a really great acidic bump on top of that super sweet sauce. So we've got them nice and thinly sliced. And I, um, I've never pickled anything in my life. I love watching cooking shows and they pickle stuff all the time. So that's where I got the idea. Blame it on Food Network. I just googled a quick pickling recipe honestly that's what I did so I have two-thirds cup of water boiling we're going to use apple cider vinegar I wanted to use white vinegar but I don't have any so I found a recipe with apple cider we're going to use some salt a little sugar and for a little kick some crushed red pepper so we're just waiting on the water to boil and once it's boiling we're going to add all of the ingredients in there and let it boil for a couple minutes together. Okay guys, our water is boiling, so we're going to add our sugar. With the sugar, you wanna really make sure it's dissolved. Next, we'll add the apple cider vinegar. We'll add the salt, and then the crushed red pepper to taste. Once you have all of your ingredients in your sauce pot, you want to let it boil for five minutes. After that, you want to let it cool down to room temperature and then pour it on top of your vegetables. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to let it boil and then we're going to come together after it's cooled down and we'll put it on our radishes. Okay, y'all, our pickling sauce, <laughs> pickling juice, <laughs> our pickling mixture is cool so we can finally put it on our radishes. Okay, so you take your liquid, pour it right on, that mix, just one. I don't want to put too much, so I'm just going to put a little in at a time. You want enough to make sure they're swimming in it, but not drowning in it. Let's shake these puppies up. Now this is a quick pickle recipe, but it's not instant. The flavor will become more intense the longer it sits. So we're definitely going to try it today on our wraps, but the longer it sits, um, you're gonna get a in more intense flavor. Okay guys, our sauce is done. It is a beautiful consistency. So now we've got our tofu in a bowl. We're gonna get our sauce and put half of it on the tofu. And we're gonna save the other half, so don't get rid of it. We interrupt your regularly scheduled foodie video to share what I'm making while I'm making this awesome recipe. Gotta have my snacks, so I've got my toasted bread and I'm making a PB&J, because I'm just a kid at heart, guys. Uh, I use Skippy. Do you see this giant jar, guys? This lasts me maybe a couple weeks. I love peanut butter, I put it in my shakes, and I have a protein shake every day. So I have peanut butter every day. And then with my Skippy, I'm doing sugar-free peach. Guys, get your hands on some sugar-free Smuckers. It's so good. And I'm bougie. I gotta have my bread toasted. That's the snack we're having today while we make our delicious recipe, guys. Now back to your regularly scheduled foodie adventure. <sighs> I'll give you a little look at it after I get it wicks. Whisk, whisk, whisk. We're going to be using the V slicer or mandala. Mandolin. Mandala, mandolin. One of them is a musical instrument, one of them is a knife. One of them's 